Let's create a new document. Click on File, then New, and select any square format ratio of your choice, and click on Create. I will go with a 1080 by 1080 pixels wide size. Again click on the file, then place embedded and select the background image. Resize the image to fill the entire canvas. Then click on this tick mark icon to finish the transformation. Then click on this icon and then curves to apply the curves adjustment layer on top. Bend the curve from the middle, and drag it down to make the image dark and more dramatic. Close the panel when done. Now right click the adjustment layer and select create clipping mask option. Again go to the file, then place embedded and select the wooden base image. Resize it accordingly. Click on this tick mark icon when done tweaking the image. We will move it a little upwards. Then we will again add the curves adjustment. Clipping mask it on the layer below using this icon. We will also make this image dark by dragging the line down from the middle. And a little drag here also. Let's add another levels adjustment on top. Clip mask it and move these sliders like this. We will add another image to the scene. This time the Nescafe gold jar. Reposition it accordingly. Again we will add the curves adjustment. Clip mask it, and will darken the image as before. A little bit of adjustment on the upper side also. Again the levels adjustment. Clip mask it, and adjust the sliders like this. Now we will give some interesting shine to the Nescafe Gold Blend. Reposition it. Click on this tick option and then duplicate the shine on the other side. Reposition it accordingly. Then let's add a vector mask to this lens flare layer and erase the extra part using the eraser tool. Now we will add a new layer below the Nescafe Gold Blend. Grab the brush tool with the black color selected and we'll create a realistic shadow over here. Make sure that you are using the soft round brush in this scenario. Then I will select the Nescafe jar with all the adjustment layers used on it to reposition it slightly downwards. Now we will add the coffee beans to the composition. As always resize it properly. Click on this icon and grab the coffee bean layer to put it behind the Nescafe jar. We will once more reposition it correctly using the transform tool. Now let's add a curve adjustment. Clip mask it, and adjust the curve like this. And a level adjustment. Clip mask it, and adjust the sliders like this. We will add another layer below the coffee beans image. Grab the brush tool and create a shadow. We will reposition the beans, bringing the image closer to the shadow. Now let's add this falling coffee beans image. Resize it accordingly. Click on this tick mark option and we'll put this image below the Nescafe gold jar. We will tweak the coffee bean curves adjustment a little. Levels adjustment also. And then save the image in PNG format for best rasterization quality.